everybody. I'm Natalie Forte. And I'm Todd Weatherill. And welcome to another fun episode of Get, Get Out. Out. But we got to figure it out. What's the Forte and the hair? Too much change in one couple I shows know, here. I know. I'm sorry. You're probably freaking out. It's still me. Yes, I'm just a little undercover right now. No question about it. Yeah, but you know what? I am starving. Me too, but I'm kind of waffling on what we're going to eat today. Todd! We're actually going to a waffle joint. I love waffles. Well, perfect. Well, I know I'm going. I don't know about you, but nah. we're going to Brews Wiffle. It's a cool place. I love breakfast morning, noon, and night, so I have been dying to try out Brews Wiffles, a waffle joint here on Wilshire. I heard the owner is so nice and the food is to die for. Let's check out this joint. Hey guys, I'm here with Abru, the owner of this wonderful new restaurant here on Wilshire. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you? Good. So Thanks so much for coming. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. First of all, breakfast is one of my favorite meals of the day. I know you have other stuff besides breakfast, but I was so excited to come here. Thank you. You guys don't just have normal waffles, right? You have quite a unique variety on your menu. What do you guys have here? We have blueberry waffles and sliders. Ooh. I love sliders. We make it everything here. We have banana pecan waffle, which people wow. love it. We have pizza waffle. Pizza waffle? Yes. Because I love pizza, I was thinking, what can I do with the pizza? And then, what about waffles? Why not? Yeah. And we have sandwiches. We have salads. I saw a good salad over there. Yeah, very good. So yeah, you're not very just good. waffles. But now, where does the whole waffle thing come from? Did you grow up loving waffles, or what was your inspiration behind this restaurant? I just went up in my place. I was looking for the making crepes, pancake, and waffles together. But I just realized if you make it everything from scratch, it takes forever, and I need a huge kitchen. So I decided to go with the waffle and bruise waffles. Like, what? What is? Where did the name come from? I was looking for a name and all my friends called me Brew and yeah. they say, what about Bruce Waffle? I say, I want to say something different. Yeah. And then one of my friends said, what about Waffle? Sounds like a waffle and you have an accent, you cannot say a waffle. <laughs> and I say, done. I'm so excited to be here and um, do I maybe get to help make something in the kitchen? Sure, one yeah. of the famous waffle? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Great. So I hear this is your first time here. It is. It is. Wow, it looks amazing. What did you guys get? Chocolate waffle. This is a regular house waffle. And oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna make that in just a minute in the kitchen. I can't wait. Oh my god, I can't get rid of her. Now time make to make some waffles, some banana split waffle. Ooh, banana split! I'm ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is fresh batter, this right? Fresh batter. So there's a little right. technique. There you go. Close it and turn it over. Oh, and, and you flip uh, it. So how long does that usually take? It takes like a minute or two. Okay, looks excellent. So now what do we do? All right. So the first thing we do is the powdered sugar, and then you do banana, and then it's the chocolate. chocolate. Oh, this is fun. And then we got ice cream, and then vanilla whipped cream, so and then the last thing is the strawberries. These are, of course, fresh every day. There it is. It's done. Wow, stunning. Banana Look at this. Waffle. Thanks, Rosalie. You rock. Thank you. Okay, Natalie, this is the breakfast sliders. Wow, wow. With turkey sausage, eggs, and bacon. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Smorgasbord. I love it. I have to first try their breakfast sliders. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so good. Wow. And breakfast is my specialty. I love making breakfast sandwiches. You have to come down here. They are located at 2408 Wilshire Boulevard here in Santa Monica. Or Check them out on the web at brewswiffle.com. This is amazing. I'm going to dig into the banana split now. Yummy! Oh my gosh, I'm in love with that place. Brew is awesome! I saw the menu there. They're pretty awesome. They make a ton of different things, don't they? Yes, but you could have actually tried some if you would have stayed. I, what do you mean, stayed? I saw you. I wasn't there. Oh my gosh. Okay, Todd, you ran away from me. Wasn't but me. Anyway, what are you going to do now? I'm going to go work out at a Pilates studio. Oh, Pilates is great. Have I've you never tried it? I've tried it, no. Uh -uh. <gasps> You're going to love it. I'm an athlete. It should do pretty good. Well, we'll see. Mm hmm. Dude, I'm an athlete. I've surfed, played football, done just about everything, including yoga. How bad could this Pilates be? Let's go find out. Tina joins me now at Uprise Classical Pilates right here in the 900 block of Montana here in Santa Monica. I'm new to Pilates. You're going to have to explain all this to us. How long have you guys been around? Wow. Well, I've been teaching Pilates for 15 years, so you're in good hands. All the girls here teach Classical Pilates, which is the original 
Pilates method from Joseph Pilates based out of New York. Tell me what Pilates is. That's where I'm what starting. What is Pilates? <laughs> Pilates is a all over workout. It's going to lengthen your muscles while give you flexibility. We use spring apparatus, so the spring elongates your muscles while it tones it. So you get a long, lean, beautiful, ripped body. <laughs> There's a lot of things out there you can do these days. Yoga, mm -hmm. running, uh, active classes. Tell me why Pilates. Pilates is a machine, which is different than doing yoga per se. Yoga is more of a stationary pose, where Pilates is very fluid, so you're moving constantly. It's very cardiovascular, there's no stopping, it goes, 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 and as you get more advanced, you're adding more exercises into your routine. So you have a longer repertoire in the same hour. Now tell me about beginners. Is it easy for a beginner to come in and have some success with this? Do you need to do it a while? beginners all levels. We have 80 year old clients coming in. Basically, Pilates invented the method for rehab, so it was designed for soldiers who were trying to heal. That's why everything is fed-like and has a spring attachment, so if you have an injury, it's phenomenal for rehabilitation, post-surgery, pre-surgery. So what kind of programs do you offer here? We have tower classes, and we have reformer classes, as well as privates duets and trios. You can work out with a friend or you can work out by yourself if you like your one-on-one -on -one attention or if you like a group class then it's fun also. Are we going to get the chance to do this today? Yes we are. Take me over and show me what you guys do. Okay I'm Thanks. excited. Let's go. So Pilates is not only for women. I'd like to just give a shout out to Hayes, a regular here at Uprise. Go ahead and lie on your back. So let's bring your knees into your chest. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep them going. Five, five, six, six. They're gonna change the name to boot camp. <laughs> and back. Keep this open and reach. Beautiful, there you go. And reach. We're working on those arms now. And punch. Reach it up and bring it back. One, two, three, Four, five, six. These are fun, aren't they? Yes, they are, <laughs> when you have help. Pilates can be fun as well. And one, and two, and three, and four. And then lower back down. Really stretch those arms down to the floor, long, all the way forward. You know, this looks like a great cross trainer for surfing. Bingo. Right on. Surfers love this. Advanced moves. Only for the advanced. Man, this is a killer ab workout. It's kind of a mixture between yoga and Cirque du Soleil. Uh, the trainers here are awesome. Uh, come on down, 929 Montana, or you can get them online at upriswellness.com. Todd, are you okay? Yeah, just a little sore from Pilates. I know, it's a good workout, <laughs> isn't it? It was not what I thought it was gonna be. It was a lot harder, but man, what a workout. You gotta try it. Yes, and they're so great Oh, over I there. can barely lift my arms to write now. It's just crazy. Oh, oh. well, speaking of writing, I'm actually going to be creative myself because my muscles are working You're fine. Not very creative. Yes, I am, watch. <gasps> Scribble Press. I've been hearing so much about this place. They offer so many unique creative classes. I cannot wait to check it out. Hopefully they'll let me join. Hey guys, I'm here with Anna Barber, the founder of Scribble Press here in Montana. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing this morning? Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I have to say, I drove by this place and the name instantly caught my attention. What exactly is Scribble Press? Scribble Press is a place to make your own books and other gifts. It's an art studio and a, a printing house all in one. And the great thing is you can come in and write an illustrated book and we bind it for you while you wait. I think storytelling skills and art skills are just really important in life. They're really important to kids' self-esteem. The look on a kid's face when they get their published book is just priceless. You know, thinking of yourself as an author and a creator is really, really important to, you know, being confident. Yeah, so what has the community response been like? It's been great. We've got families um, who go to the local schools who come in all the time and take classes and come in to make gifts and it's really fun for me because I know a lot of the customers so I recognize them when they come in. Now if parents were you know trying to figure out a new activity for their kids and thought of Scribble Press, why should people come here? 
I think what's great about this is it's not just an art class, it's, it's really um, about teaching storytelling skills. So if you're gonna drop in and make something, you know, it's challenging to write a book. It can be intimidating looking at the blank page, but when you've completed it and you have the finished book, there's no better feeling of accomplishment. So today you're doing, there's a little kids camp going on, right? There is for three to six year olds. And they're full, but I convinced the counselor to let in one more yes, student. Yes, I'm basically six. <laughs> so do I get to participate today? They're making placemats today in camp. Would you like to make a placemat? Yes, because I happen to love to eat and definitely need some new placemats. Let's go and uh, make you a placemat. I am excited. All right, let's go. Okay, Natalie, here's a seat for you in the class so you can make your very own placemat. And my favorite colors are green and yellow. One. Hello, green sponge, Hi. yellow paint, green t-shirt, yellow t-shirt. I'm fitting right in. My name's Natalie. I'm friendly Natalie. You do? Is she a, a good girl? You like her? See, follow the name. What do you guys like about coming to Scribble Press? <laughs> because since coloring is almost my talent, it's so creative. It really is. I couldn't have said that better myself. Is that okay? You can do it anything you want. Any way I want. It's all just my own creative. Thing. Choice, yes. Not bad, huh? It's my nose mold. My placemat's done! Yes! Oh my gosh. Anna, it looks so good. <laughs> I added a little um, green. <laughs> Natalie, are you feeling okay? Maybe. <laughs> I just caught up with it. Anyway, I. Anyway, nice job. I love the way you combine the colors. Thank Excellent you. work. Thank you so much. You know, I've, I've had some practice. But listen, if people want to come down here, where are you guys located and how can they get a hold of you? We are at 1109 Montana Avenue in Santa Monica, and the great thing is there's free parking in the back, and we're open seven days a week. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. And scribblepress.com, right? Online at scribblepress.com. Fabulous. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, kids. Bye, City TV. I love that place. But we're out of time. Oh man, but thank you guys so much for joining us for another fun episode of Get, get out. out. Now you get out and go get another new name and haircut before it's, next time. It's a hair color, not a cut. Whatever. Isn't this a good placemat? Yes. Thank you. No. Get out.